Welcome to an ancient DNA paper review by Sebastian Tomac. Today we will review the paper The Neolithic transition in the Baltic was not driven by admixture with early European farmers in cell current biology. In Europe, the Neolithic transition marked the beginning of a period of innovations that saw communities shift from a mobile lifestyle dependent on hunting and gathering for survival to a more sedentary way of life based on food production. This new way of life, which originated in the Near East 11 and a half thousand years ago, had arrived in Southeast Europe by eight and a half thousand years ago, from where it spread quickly across the continental interior of Europe and introduced animal husbandry, cultivated cereals, pottery and ground stone tools to the region. The genetic evidence suggests that th these cultural and technological changes were accompanied by profound genomic transformation consistent with the migration of people of most likely Anatolian origin, see our previous videos The Peasant Invasion and Ice Age Europe, where we have reviewed the population changes associated with the Neolithic Revolution. In this paper, they have sequenced a number of samples from Latvia and Ukraine, spanning the Mesolithic and Neolithic. The oldest one is from Latvia, associated with the old Kunda culture, replaced by the Narva culture to the Komwer culture, all hunter-gatherers, to finally transition into the Neolithic corded ware cultures. In contrast to Central Europe, the adoption of agriculture in northern and eastern parts of this continent, in the areas which encompass modern-day Latvia and Ukraine, was slow and relatively recent. Although some features of the Neolithic package, such as ceramics, appeared as early as 8.5 to 7.5 thousand years ago, Agriculture was not adopted as a primary subsistence economy until the late Neolithic Bronze Age. The paper finds evidence that the hunter-gatherer ancestry persisted across the Neolithic transition in both regions, that is, the aborigine hunter-gatherer's ancestry native to Europe remained dominant also after the introduction of farming, in contrast to the rest of South Central and Western Europe. With the corded ware culture, they also find signals consistent with influx of non-local people, most likely from northern Eurasia and the Pontic steppe. During the late Neolithic and this steppe-related impact coincides with the proposed emergence of Indo-European languages in the Baltic region. The ancient Latvian and Ukrainian samples fall close to the modern northern and eastern European populations in a PCA analysis, suggesting a degree of continuity in both regions since the Mes Mesolithic period. Outgroup F3 statistics, which measure shared genetic drift between populations, further support this, as they show that these ancient samples share most affinity with modern populations from Northern and Eastern Europe. That's all for today. Till next time, I wish you all the best.